Hello, hello. Thank you for joining us today. This is my uh, final little Siamese Sable Rex Rabbit that uh, I had shown you the uh, basic head and body shape. And uh, I guess I was so excited, you know, I finished it without uh, turning my camera on, so I thought I would talk about it. I already have it in the frame. I have little whiskers in there that you can see, which is a nice little touch for the rabbit. And uh, I had a hard time, you know, layering the fur, you know, because the rabbit almost looks like velvet, for heaven's sakes. But I did a mixture of... Uh, a little bit of brown, a little sienna, and I mixed it all together with some of the beige batting. And then I did a very light layer of brown on top to give it a gradated like feel to it. And um, I mixed uh, brown and black in his face and ears because black can be kind of, you know, too stark. And then you can see at the ear, I gradated it towards the pink and uh, gave him a little black and brown tail. And uh, same with his feet. But I left a little touch of white in his back foot. And then I used gray to define the toes. And the eye, you can see in the picture, you see how velvety or velvet like. The fur is on that real rabbit there on the right but then uh, you know I'm showing you your how to reference you know I I use the eye to reference the eye that I did and this is really like a baby bunny and not a full rabbit I thought you know that would be kind of cute to have that in the frame and uh, the Siamese sable you know, kind of reminds me of a Siamese cat, but it's a beautiful rabbit. Here he is all together in the frame. I'm showing you, uh, you know, it's a six by six frame and he's positioned right in there. I think he fills it up nicely and uh, the back foot kind of hangs over a little bit. I did sign it on the left side, which I don't normally do unless uh, I have to. Usually I sign bottom right. And uh, I think it looks pretty good in there. It's just a white distressed frame. I use uh, a foam board, like quarter inch, for the backing. And of course, brat that in. And then. Uh, you know, you just use two nails or one nail in the back and hang it on a wall. Or you can set it, to, you know, it'll stand on its own. So whichever you prefer, it makes a nice little gift or, you know, something on your bookshelf. Well, that's it for today. And uh, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be doing a uh, tarantula coming up next. Also, I'm going to do uh, a puffin. I've got the beak already made and hand painted. And I'm working on the feet. So look for those videos coming shortly. And, uh, you know, keep needle felting. And if you'd like to have a creature needle felted, uh, leave a comment in the uh, comments below and uh, I'll see if I can get to it. So thanks for watching and uh, keep needle felting.